All right, picking up where we left off, we said that if you were to take the length of the radius of a circle, wrap it around the outside of that circle, that same exact length, traces that traces out an angle. I'm calling that angle theta. It's just a Greek letter. And that is the measure of an angle that we call one radian. Okay. And uh, we also said that's about 60 degrees, just a little bit less, since each of these hours is equal to 60 degrees. Okay. So now let's see. How many radians would that take to go all the way around the circle? So in order to do that, let's first uh, let's make the diameter in here. There we go. Stretching the diameter from 3 over to 9. It's just like a point of reference. Okay. So if you had a compass, you could measure the distance from, say, the 3 all the way up to this one radian mark, and then with that same exact compass setting, just continue it all the way around the circle. So that's one radian. If you make another mark, there's two radians. There's three radians. You see we're almost halfway through. Four radians, five radians, six radians, but then I've got this little extra piece left over. So it says little extra piece left over and Oh, I've got a little extra piece left over from the half over here on the other side. Okay, so you should notice it takes a little bit more than three radians. So here's three radians, here's a little bit more, and a number that's a little bit more than three is pi. So this is 3.14159, etc. radians. And over here on the other side, this is 6 radians plus a little bit more. And that little bit more is twice the little bit more that's over here on the left-hand side. This is 2 pi radians to make a full circle. And that should make sense because well, probably about the 6th grade learned the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And just say that our radius here was equal to 1 unit. Okay, so a radian, it's a measure of an angle, and it's formed by stretching the same length of the radius around the outside of the circle. That angle measurement is called one radian. It takes a little bit more than three to go halfway around the circle. It takes exactly pi to go halfway around. It takes a little bit more than six radians to go all the way around. It takes exactly two pi radians to go all the way around. So how many radians would be equivalent to one full revolution? One full, full revolution is 2 pi radians. How many radians would it equal 180 degrees? That would be pi radians. So 180 degrees is the same thing as pi radians and this is what we'll use as the conversion factor. In other words, if I want to if I want to convert from degrees to radians or radians to degrees, I would use this conversion factor. It's just like if I'm going to convert from inches to feet, I would say 12 inches is equal to 1 foot. That's a conversion factor. Or 1 inch is approximately equal to 2.54 centimeters. That's another conversion factor. Be able to convert from one to another. So for some examples of this conversion, look for another video.